The orange horse loaded. Set. Gates open. And they sent on their way. Silver Sea, a little bit quick for now. That's the early leader, Gilbo, against the inside rail right there, though. Miles Rover, white body, blue cap, Quattro Parsi is around them all to go and take the lead at the corner of the track. Then fifth place is Iceman Cometh, the black and white colours at the inside of Oku Biza. Just over a length away to Count Ali, that's in the black jacket and a red cap. Giratorio races three quarters of the way back and they're going a good pace here. Then just over a length away to Wolf's World and to Orange Horse, Navarino Bay and Curfew are the last two as they approach the 800 metres board and Quattro Parsi is stretching them out. He's a two-length leader over Mars Rover, who races all by himself in second. Four lengths away to Gilles Boa. He's in third. The big white face, red jacket. That's against the rail. Silver Sea at his outside. Iceman cometh. The black and white colors must be about eight lengths from the leader. Uku Biza, Giratorio. Then comes Count Ali. They follow by the Orange Horse, who's been scrubbed along. Navarino Bay was further back. Then came Wolf's World and Curfew. They in line for home now. And Quattro Parsi brought them in. Second place, Mars Rover. Gilles Boa is in the middle of the course and starting to move a little bit closer much closer for that matter and towards the inside as Iceman cometh further back to Giratorio the favourite's in trouble here and Iceman cometh up the inside is certain Quattro Parsi is second staying on towards the outside is Giratorio but it's all Iceman cometh into the final 100 metres Giratorio two lengths away making inroads but too late and Iceman cometh has won it Iceman cometh beat Giratorio third went the way of Quattro Parsi and then came Gilles Boa Ice man cometh. Huge improvement from run one to run two. Dennis Schwal's on board here for Gary Alexander, son of Visionaire, owned by Gary Alexander Racing Stables, Closed Corporation, Gerald Kilil, Gordon Murigan, Q Tarver, and uh, Mr. Harbajan. Bred at the Summerhill Stud. Massive improvement from run one to run two. Ice man cometh has won it nicely. Also, big improvement from the runner-up, number nine, Giratorio, who was staying on at the end, beaten just over a length. Third to number one, Quattro Parsi. And then came Gilles Boa. 10-9, 1-8, the order finished. The orange horse was further back. Then came Wolf's World. They were ahead of Navarino Bay, Curfew, Silver Sea, Ukubiza, Count Ali. And then came Mars Rover. So the winners towards the left-hand side, Iceman Cometh went to take the lead about 250 metres from home. Quattro Parsi tried to stretch them out. And then Giratorio towards the right-hand side, the red sleeves and cap was finishing nicely. But Iceman Cometh went to the lead at the right time, burst away and was not for the catching. So those numbers are 10, 9, 1 and 8. Race number 2 starts the place accumulator at 20 past 1. It's Iceman Cometh who comes through to win race number one here for the Alexanders. Well done to Summerhill and the owners. They'll be over the moon with us so win here and the improvement shown um, from first to second start. Dennis Shaw's aboard here this afternoon. Let's first uh, chat to uh, Dennis. Dennis, are you and I chatting off air there? Uh, midfield, take us through how the race worked out for you. Yeah, uh, look, he came out quite nicely. Um, I always wanted to have him covered up a little bit and I actually found myself in a perfect position with the pace that they were going. They were going quite hard up front. Um, found himself in an easy spot and comfortable rhythm. Um, they sort of moved off the rail before the, the false rail came and I sort of uh, moved up quite comfortably and let him build into his stride and uh, once I hit the front he actually quickened away from them. How's the track feeling out there? Um, I think the track is a lot better, it's still running quite quick um, but uh, you can see the green coming through and uh, the track feels a lot more comfortable on the horse's legs so uh, well done to the guys. Uh, keeping the track well maintained and uh, thank God for the rain. Yeah, well said. I wanted to ask you about the one in the game in race number seven. What do you think of the chances there? Um, look, she has a, a good competitive weight and um, I wouldn't take her out of it. I think it's quite an open field. Um, so hopefully she can also run a nice race. It's up. You have a good day at the office with the Alexanders. Yeah, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I have to say a big thanks to Mr. Alexander. Hopefully it's not the last one on the card, but a big thanks to him and all the owners involved. Uh, thank you so much. Nice start, Dan. Thank you. Dennis Shaws. Yep, he yeah. takes home the first race. Here's Gary. Him and I are also chatting off here. We haven't chatted for a while, Gary. It's lovely to be speaking to you and well done on this one. Yes, uh, thanks, Lal. Uh, he's a lovely uh, individual, this horse. He's uh, related to RCA. So we know the family very well, the brand new Cadillac, and it's a stout family. He caught us a little bit off guard. I thought the mile would have been better for him today. I thought just one more 1,400 and then we'll step him up. But we'll take the win and, uh, you know, he uh, qualifies for the ready to run. So we've got a chance. And uh, these owners, you've got uh, quite a few of these partnerships going. Um, they'll be happy with the win, obviously, uh, short of his best. 
Yes, I, co I could uh, congratulate our syndicate members and that for the support that they've given us. And I think they've got a nice horse on their hands, especially when he goes over the ground. Dennis rode a good race today, and uh, let's hope we can keep the syndicates in that game. Yeah, you know, now we've got the first one under the belt. Maybe they can start streaming through, I hope, Gary. Let's hope so, Lars. Gary, before you go, you've got a lot of runners, um, including Tuscan Light, General Jackson, Prospector, See Me Run. I mean, they're serious runners today, aren't they? Yeah, I think in the next race, I've uh, got uh, Tuscan Light, and I've got a nice little filly, Too Cool for School. Uh, it's a half-sister to uh, Hero's Honor, so he's, she's well-related. Uh, there's not much between the two at home. Just uh, Too Cool for School, just might need the ex another run for the experience, but... Uh, she should run a place. And then I think on the day, Prospector, I think he's at my best on the day. And uh, the last two have got to be included in uh, trifectas and quartets. Well, crossing fingers, let's hope this continues uh, forever. Thanks, Lyle. Thank you, Gary. Well Thank done, you. Dean. Thank you very much. A nice chatting to the Alexanders. Ice Man cometh number 10, comes through and wins race number one. Not an easy result to find this. 10, 9, 1 and 8. I must say the 10 did look very well in the parade ring. That is uh, race number one. The PA comes up in race number two, coming up shortly.